to me, if you ask me who's one of the greatest rappers alive, I mean, I got to go with, I got to say a Scarface. I got to say a Lil Wayne. I got to say a 3000. I got to say a big boy. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. You come from my era. I, I'm really like, I'm one of them, man. Like, I'm I'm rock him. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. up there with it. I'm not, yeah. even the, the ones who you think, I'm not going to give you what you're looking for. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to give you a D. I might give you a D nice, MC Shan. Yes, I, might give you, I might give you something. You're going to be like, what? Yeah, yeah I'm going to tell you that I'm, a, I'm an EPMD fanatic. And see, when you say that, that's because we respected the elders. Yeah. Those are the elders to me. Yeah. Like all them LL Cool J, all Ooh, them the elders. LL. But, but <laughs> anything came out in the 90s, those my peers. There you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's, That's exactly it. right. That's it. So what, what I wanted to ask you, though, is like, what do you say to those who say, like my wife just is, she just hit it. Like uh, a lot of people hit me up, be like, "Man, you 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 thinking the old way, man? Everybody got they got their phones now, but how about the information and the way that it's still being it, how it's permeating? It, it's still I feel biased, but you you know y'all might feel a different way. Well, I just look at it like this. Look at that list. You yeah. can, you can yeah, look at right. you can look at a phone and you can. You can have these people that make these lists, but most of the time when you see the people that make the list, they're not even the people from the actual neighborhoods and the communities. Wow. So that's the reason why these lists are just so off the wall wrong mm -hmm. and really aren't connecting with the people. You know, Because to me, if you ask me who's one of the greatest rappers alive, I mean, I gotta go with, I gotta say a Scarface, I gotta say a Lil Wayne, I gotta say a 3000, I gotta say a Big Boy. I mean, like, I look at it, when I look at how I match people up, I look at how long have you done this? How many records have you sold? And when I look at a lot of my peers from, the, from my era, don't, a lot of them don't have new music. That's real. I've been in every era since I've been out. Mm. And that's why I think that Atlanta and I think the South, we show people that we versatile. I think mm -hmm. Lil Wayne changing into Lil Wayne after the car, it was like, wow. Like, but I've seen a lot of Southern MCs re, uh, just reattach themselves to something else and turn into something else. You, can, you, you don't have to stay an artist forever. You don't, like when we start seeing Scarface pick up the, 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 the guitar, guitar, we knew, mm -hmm. we knew it was like, you're gonna get to a level of this business where Either you're gonna find something else about it to love, or it's gonna destroy you mentally. Yeah, yeah. You can't always want to be number one. You can't always want to be that guy. You got to learn how to get into the. Well, now I'm the coach. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can coach right, right. five or six great artists right. into success. And I think that the industry is so bad now, and the reason why they tan the industry up is because at the end of the day, they had a ten year run of being able to separate the elders from the youth. So once they separated the elders from the youth, that's when they got all our youths to sign these 360 deals and they own their life. They yeah. own their they, 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 they face. They own everything. And I feel like that's where we have to kind of pull back as a community and say, hey man, it's cool to do business, but this is turning into a slave culture. Because mm -hmm. if you own every part of me being able to make some money for myself, then what am I? That's real. And they got life insurance on them. <laughs> that's real. <laughs> and they're looking, for, they yeah. looking for them to crash out. That's, that's real. You know, so when I look at all these record labels and you say, well, all these people that run record labels don't even look like us or come from the culture or nothing because it's not about us anymore. It's only about raping us and making us sign contracts so that they can control. See, it's almost like now I can just sign people just to hold them. A kid right now will sign a $300,000 contract and don't know that them people own his likeness for the rest of his life. Wow. Wow. And that's that's a different kind of world of making music. When I came in with LA and Babyface and they was all they was all all they talked about was making a great hook, a great a, a great bridge, and maybe you'll have a great song. And I think that it's gone away from being about the music and it's gone into 
who has the biggest personality, who has the best marketing scheme. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the audience and the fans get cheated because most of these people that has been successful in the last five or 10 years, they were definitely industry props to me because most of these guys that's successful now wouldn't have never made it in the 90s because you had to have true true talent. You couldn't just be propped up just because who you walked in the room with and you talk loud and people like you, your, your, your attitude. No, bro. You got to really know how to DJ, really know how to produce, really know how to write these songs, really know how to go on stage. And I think that it was a way for the record label to start putting their people in I don't want you to be as talented. I just want you to be a great A&R. I'm going to give you the budget to go buy the whole industry. Now, we can make money off the whole industry and just got to sign you. Wow. Mm. Yep. Man, it, it's crazy how things mm. in transition, man. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they, it, It's still a game, though. It's a, it's, mm -hmm. it's a real serious game when you look at how people playing it. Even the streaming, all the stuff that they're doing, mm -hmm. it's just redirecting aims, but it's still, it's shots being fired. You know what I mean? It's it's, like, it disconnects you from the, the base. Like you said, we, was on, we were talking the other night. With them, they can create something that they can control, and then they can mutate it clone it themselves which is AI and stuff like that that's right so this is a space you're in now where you don't have to be tangible you can't. You don't have to touch the artist but like in the area he's speaking of you had to really get out there that's why you like he'll tell you like now those guys can't do their own concerts nobody there at least doing all these bot concerts where we call them like a hundred of them on stage rolling loud it's a million people they're gonna scream for everybody any damn way <laughs> but put them on the stage by themselves that's why you see the numbers decreasing and declining because they're not it's just an act or a Simulation, mm -hmm. so to speak. Wow. Right, and that's what I was saying is that I don't think like that's gonna last. It's not you at see all. It now? It's because yeah. people are begging for true talent now, right. because they're tired of all the antics. It, it, it become a generation where everybody wants to upstage the other, mm -hmm. and you're like, okay, what's next? Like, how far can you take this? It's almost like people yeah. want to be more famous than actually the artist. Right. Exactly. So it's like I want to be famous. And it's like, yeah, but you don't want to do no work, like. We had to go to small town to big town. That means yeah. get in 12 passenger vans and drive all over the South and every small town Come on now. To, to, to be able to touch the fans. And I think that the internet has just, it's, it's, it's birthed a, so, uh, 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 a generation of artists that they can say, yeah, but him, 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 and him, they were successful doing it like this. But mm -hmm. yeah, but that's the game. That's real. That's that just like crack. They get to you at first, then you got to buy it when you come back. <laughs> 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 so that's what's going on with the game right gotcha. now. It's, it's almost like, man, to them, they was like, yo, Gip, so how are they getting them? Okay, check it. Now, they'll go get a young kid. Now, kid, make a song, it jams, it goes on the internet. It's an overnight success. It's already money in the pipeline. A child, a kid doesn't understand that. A record label does. So what do they do? They sit back and they watch it go up. They watch all the money go up on the internet, the gram, everything. Then they come and get their kid and they offer their kid exactly what that song made. Mm -hmm. Right? So when they do a deal with that kid, he signed his life away. They just giving him the money that he already generated. Yeah. They never mm -hmm. spent no money. Wow. And now they own your life. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.